After months of demonstrating his power and authority through miracles, casting out demons, forgiving sins, and preaching the good news of the kingdom of God, Jesus began to make the slow journey back to Jerusalem. One day, he stopped in a small village. As Jesus arrived, he was met by ten lepers. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us, they cried in unison, their voices hoarse with disease. The lepers stood just far enough away to keep their infection from reaching him, but close enough that the smell of open sores and rotting flesh was almost noticeable. Their deformed bodies told the story of suffering, shame, and loneliness. They were of all men most miserable, most wretched. Anyone else would have turned their head and quickly walked away, but not Jesus. He stopped to hear them and acknowledge their pain. Then Jesus said the most peculiar thing. Jesus commanded them, Go and show yourselves to the priest. It was an odd thing to say, because they had already presented themselves to the priest, and he had declared them unclean outcasts. Unless their condition miraculously changed, there was no reason for them to return. But they did what Jesus commanded, even though it did not make sense. As they began to walk away, something miraculous happened. The body of each man was transformed from a hopelessly disfigured leper to a picture of perfect health. Arms and legs grew back where they had once been missing. Scaly skin took on a smooth and youthful appearance where it was once filled with sores and scars. And where there had been blindness, complete vision was now restored. We are healed! Their voices rang in youthful joy at what had just happened to them. They continued toward the temple without even glancing back to acknowledge their healer, except for one. This one leper stopped, looking again at his hands and feet and his new complexion. He was amazed by his transformation, and so overcome with gratitude toward the great healer, he began praising God with a loud voice. Then he turned to find Jesus still standing in the distance and ran to him and fell at his feet in worship. This true life demonstration was a lot like a parable so Jesus began to teach its meanings with questions. Didn't I heal ten lepers? Where are the other nine? Is this foreigner the only one who returns to give me praise? You see, the others were glad to be healed, but only one returned and embraced Jesus as the one who healed. Only one worshipped him as God. Then, with the same compassion, mercy, and love Jesus had spoken with when he healed the diseased men, he addressed the one grateful man, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. We pray that you enjoyed the video. Leprosy was very contagious. People who had leprosy were required to stay away from other people and announce their presence if they had to come near. In our lesson, we see 10 lepers who cried out to Jesus to have mercy on them from a distance. Jesus heard their cries for mercy and commanded them to go and show themselves to the priest. Sometimes leprosy would go into remission. If a leper thought his leprosy had gone away, he was supposed to present himself to a priest who could declare him clean. But the amazing thing in our lesson is that Jesus commanded the 10 lepers to go show themselves to the priest before they were healed and they went. They responded in faith and Jesus healed them on the way. Is your trust in God so strong that you act on what he says even before you see evidence that it will work? Jesus healed all 10 lepers, but only one returned to thank him. Is it possible to receive God's great gifts 
and fail to give thanks to God? God does not demand that we thank him, but he is pleased when we do so. And he uses our responsiveness to teach us more about himself. The one leper who was healed was a Samaritan, a race despised by the Jews as idolatrous half-breeds. But even though he was of a different race than the Jews, God healed him, which teaches that God heals spiritually and physically all races of people. While God's power to heal changed his body, his thanksgiving changed his relationship with God. Only grateful Christians grow in worship to God and understanding God's grace.